Hi, my friends, Dr. Sam Slishman here. What I want to show you today is how to turn a Slishman pressure wrap into a tourniquet wrap windlass hybrid. So what I'm gonna do is take these parts and I've spent a lot of time 3D printing multiple different windlass designs. This is one of them. It has an oxygen key on this side, hex key on that side. You crack open a beer. You go crazy with this sort of stuff. I have made this a multi-nut closed end wrench. It has Allen key, uh, Phillips head, flathead Torx. Lots of different things you could do with these. Oh, also I can set the pivot point off so that you have a little bit more leverage. Anyway, many directions to go with this idea, but the point here is how to thread the wrap with the windlass. So I'm gonna unwrap it to the label end and I'm going to first put it through one of the holes of the anti-pinch plate. Now this is not a critical part but if you like to be nice to your patients it's nice. It just feels a little bit better. So put it through one hole there, one hole here and I'm going to get it to land between these two uh, hook tabs. So one two, one two. And then once again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to put the label through one hole and then another hole. And then I pull all these through until it's nice and flush. And there's a little bit of room to adjust it here. All right, so for staging it, what I like to do is make one side flat. This is the label side. Make that flat so the label is here. Make the other side flat as well. And the sleeve, I like to position close to that hook tab. And that just allows for a, a large loop for a larger lip. And once again, I'm going to just make it flat. And now this all fits within the pouch. Don't have to have the pouch, but it's a nice way to, to carry it. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is show how this gets applied to my leg. I take this loop, put it over my leg, and then I start to crank. And, and mind you, I don't need a windless addition for my leg. I, my legs are about 60 centimeters circumference, and the wraps as they are do a great job stopping blood flow in my size legs. But if you have larger limbs, it gets harder and harder. What I recommend is direct pressure over wounds first or just proximal to grossly mangled limbs. And then you do a wide distribution of pressure. You get to that point there. And I have some room to move too. I can adjust this. Once I get to the position that I want, if I still have bleeding, I can crank this down. And I can't prove it to you with my own leg, but this is very tight. So I get to a spot that I like, I lock it in place. There's a few different ways to lock it in place. One is to grab the tab there. Another is to actually use the, the tail of the wrap and just tack it down this way. All right, so this is tight. I do not have blood flow in my leg. What I wanna show you next is what it looks like on my mega manometer here. So if you're not familiar with this device, this is how I test pressures with my wraps, but also on different tourniquets. So right now the wrap is quite tight and I am, I'm gonna crank this and you can watch what happens to the pressure. It goes up rapidly. And there's not an upper limit on how much I can turn this other than the height of my ceiling. All right, so that is a lot of pressure right there. And then I lock it in place when I feel like bleeding has stopped. Okay, so releasing that. Now, this does not hurt nearly as much as most tourniquets because I have wide pressure. Um, I have the anti-pinch plate, my skin is not stuck in there. And once bleeding has stopped, I'm empowered to back it off too. So I can remove this, see how it goes. The whole topic of tourniquet conversion goes away this way. So right now, I releasing it and see, do I have bleeding? Do I not have bleeding? If there's more bleeding again, I can crank it back up. That's not a problem. 
and I can feel blood flow back in my leg again. So this I think is a nice approach for large limbs and I think it's just a better way to deal with bleeding. I can also say this, because you have more mechanical advantage, there's less stress on the windlass itself. So it's less likely to break. Anyway, hopefully these will serve you well. Bye.